Good evening. A number of homes have been affected by flooding in the village of Crosscombe in Somerset after a month's worth of rain fell in just two days this weekend. It's after the River Sheppey burst its banks earlier today. The village hall's been set up as a temporary base for affected residents and emergency service teams. Six flood warnings remain in place across the county tonight. A number of pubs, bars and restaurants across Bristol took part in a campaign last night against the government's 10 o'clock curfew rules. The Beer Emporium on King Street was one of hundreds across the West to protest. Staff say the curfew is putting many venues in a worse situation than during lockdown. We would prefer that everybody was allowed to open in, the, in terms of the licence that they currently hold. This will stop thousands of people going out onto the streets at exactly the same time. And it's just safer for people to be in venues that have sanitization, that have social distancing, that have face masks, that have security. Now, let's catch up on a busy weekend of sport. Keeping up to date. Hi. Hi Hi, proud sponsors of ITV Regional Sports Report. And it was a good weekend for most of our teams. Here's a roundup with Alex Wood. Bristol City extended their perfect start to the new season, making it four wins from four on the road at Nottingham Forest. The Robins didn't waste any time in getting going. Andreas Weiman scored with this effort in only the 12th minute. Forward Naki Wells then doubled their advantage 10 minutes later. Former Robins midfielder Luke Freeman did claw one back for the home side, scoring this fine solo effort. In League One, Bristol Rovers bagged their first league win of the season after beating Northampton Town 2-0. Gas forward Brandon Hanlon broke the deadlock after he was tripped in the box and awarded a penalty. Northampton then had a man sent off after Hanlon went to ground. Rovers wrapped up all three points, scoring their second later on. It wasn't such a good day for Swindon Town, however, away at Peterborough United. The Robins took an early lead, scoring in only the sixth minute, but the posh hit back in the second half, scoring three in 30 minutes. It was a better day for Cheltenham Town in League Two, though, who were away at Leighton Orient. Two first-half goals were enough to secure the win. The first a rather scrappy goal-line scramble, while the second was a lovely headed finish from Finn Azaz. Forest Green Rovers were denied their second win of the season thanks to a goalkeeping masterclass from Walsall's shot stopper. The Saddlers opened the scoring in the first half, but Rovers hit back through Jamil Matt. They had chances to win the game but were denied by a string of good saves. In the National League, Oval Town were forced to settle for a draw after their tie against Kings Lynn Town ended all square. The Glovers twice led the match, scoring two goals in the second half before Kings Lynn hit back. It was a less exciting affair for Weymouth, however, whose away match at Altrincham ended goalless. Alex Wood, ITV News. To Rugby Now and Bath have missed out on the chance of a guaranteed playoff spot after drawing against Saracens. Bath started the game well, scoring a try in the first three minutes, but they let slip a 14-point lead to allow Saracens back to the game, which ended 17 all. Bristol Bears, meanwhile, moved up to third in the Premiership rugby table after securing the full five points through a bonus point 36-7 win over London Irish. Gloucester's game against Northampton, though, was cancelled after a number of Saints players were forced to self-isolate. It follows their match against Sale Sharks earlier this week, who have recorded positive Covid cases. The forfeit means Gloucester were awarded a 20-0 win, which means they finished seventh in the table and have qualified for next year's European Champions Cup. Now, it was a pretty miserable weekend of weather after storm Alex swept across the region. But is it set to improve? Here's Philippa with your forecast. Great Western Railway sponsors the ITV West Country Weather. 
Hello there. Well, it's been another thoroughly soggy day for many of us. It remains fairly changeable as we head into the new week as well. Sunny spells and showers to start. And for Thursday, a spell of more persistent rain and some stronger winds heading our way once again. So low pressure has been very much with us through the course of this week. And it will wind its way up across northern parts over the next couple of days, continuing to feed in a showery airstream. And then this is the picture for Thursday, a fairly angry little area of low pressure sweeping in from the Atlantic, bringing the focus of more wet and windy conditions for a time. But for the rest of this evening and tonight, it looks relatively quiet. Any lingering rain soon clearing away southwards, becoming largely dry and under clearing skies, a fairly cool night on the cards. Temperatures for many of us dipping down into single figures by dawn. So a fairly cool start to the new week. Plenty of brightness around initially, but do make the most of it as the day wears on. We'll see plenty of showers developing, some of them on the heavy side, perhaps at times emerging to give some longer spells of rain. That continues into the afternoon. Afternoon. In the best of the brightness, highs around 15 Celsius, but feeling somewhat fresher than that in the breeze. Do take care. Bye bye. Great Western Railway sponsors the ITV West Country Weather. Thanks, Philippa. That's it from us this weekend. There's plenty more news from the region on our website. We'll be back tomorrow during Good Morning Britain. Until then, from all of us here, goodbye.